All right, guys, talk a little bit about back control now, right? Let's say I took Nick's back here. Nick, you sit right here. I'll get my two hooks in. Right from over on the back, right? Once I lock in my seatbelt here, guys, what we want to do, we always want to fall to the side where we're covering the shoulder. So once I lock the seatbelt in, I'm covering his right shoulder. So I'm going to fall to my right-hand side, his right-hand side. So now we're here. Once I get here, guys, what I like to do, I'm a big fan of the figure four. I think the figure four is from some of the best control out there. From here, I want to try to lock a figure four high up on his stomach, right by the floating rib, right? I don't want to lock it too low by the hip where he can start kicking out and escaping. I want to lock it up high enough where it, you know, it, it, it makes it hard for him to breathe, hard for him to do anything or move or escape. So from here, I'm going to use my top hook. I'm going to take my ball of the foot of my, left, of, my, of my left foot and place it on his hip, just like this. Once I place it on the hip here, I'm going to push Nick down just a little bit here, just like that. You guys see that? I pushed him down. Now my head's a little bit above his, which is perfect for this. Now, as I push him down here, at the same time, I let my right leg flip up. Once the right leg flips up, I reach down with my left hand, the one that's underneath his armpit. And I grab where the ankle and the shin meets, and I pull up a little bit more. And once I pull a little bit more here, I'm going to lock the figure four. When I lock the figure four here, I like to reach across, grab the outside of my foot, readjust it. Now, when I readjust it here, guys, from here, what I do is try to avoid him from stepping over. But honestly, once you lock it in flush like this, and they step over my leg with your left leg here, you know, like how people try to crank the, the foot lock here. If he does that here, it's no pain to me. It's even more pressure on Nick because we were locked flush on our ankle. I'm sorry, on our shin. If I lock around my toes here and he steps over, step over, he can foot lock me here, right? But always readjust where you're locking right on the shin. Notice how I flare my toes up to make sure it's even tighter. So again, one more time. We're on the back, tight seat belt. The foot that's on top, which is my left foot, is going to come up to the hip here. Ball of the foot is going to push Nick down just a little bit here, slightly. As I push him down, at the same time, my heel's going to flip up. Reach down, pull up a little bit more. Now, when I lock the figure four here, I reach across the outside, readjust here, and flare those toes up. If you can flare your toes up, you're in a good spot here. From here, like I said, if he steps over, step over. It's not the biggest problem in the world because it doesn't bother us. I just keep my left foot just hanging out on the outside of his left leg here. And now we're tight. We're in a tough, he's in a tough spot. Now we can start looking for the choke here a lot easier because now he has uh, his breathing to worry about. He's going to try to unlock the figure four, which is almost impossible here. So when I'm here, guys, my whole goal is to stay on this side. I do not want Nick to go towards his left where he's going to unlock the figure four, right? So if he starts pushing off towards his left-hand side here, what I like to do here is hook the back of his ankle. I'm sorry, the back of, of his knee and leg here. Should I, should I push over to your left, Nick? He can't, as long as I have that foot hooked. That's why, let's avoid letting this foot go across here in between the two legs. If I allow this left leg to go across, push off and go to your left-hand side, much easier for Nick to do that. So when I'm here with my figure four locked here, readjust it, I keep it right on the outside of his left leg. So when he goes to drive off, he can't. Now my left leg is blocking his leg from going out to the left-hand side. Fight hard, Nick, to go to your left. Very hard for Nick to do that now, right? As long as you keep your left foot on the outside of his left leg. 